You would rather be outdoors. Set your coordinates for Parallel 44. How you doing? Welcome back to the Parallel 44 Outdoors YouTube channel. I'm Troy Nobel. I sit on the Parallel 44 Outdoors Pro Staff. We've traveled north again here to one of the Parallel 44 properties to uh, to do the second installment in uh, the dog training video that we're uh, uh, that we're, we're putting together for you guys. Okay, so uh, I, I'm I'm joined here again with Trip, my uh, lazy retired lab that. Uh, he really doesn't listen that well anymore, so uh, it, it's uh, just he's so old that we don't we don't worry about it. And I've said that in the last video. I just want everyone to be aware of that. So, you know, I, I part of me wishes I had a young pup here right now, so I could actually show you, uh, you know, how to be firm and, and that sort of stuff. But you know what? This will do for now. You'll get the idea of what we're doing here. Okay. So, uh, if you watch the first uh, video about sitting. That needs to be rock solid before we can really move to this. And, uh, you know, maybe Trip's so rusty that he'll, he'll show you why. Um, but uh, anyways, um, we're, we're going to show you how to do recall today, okay? This is extremely important for the safety of your dog, okay? If your dog will not come when you call it, then it, 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 it will ultimately find itself in danger. So this one is, is very important. Okay, so, uh, you know, how do we do it? Well, we don't do it by giving it treats, okay? Y you know, you hear it all the time, you know, uh, the lady yelling out the, the door, hey, Fluffy, come, in, come here, Mama got treats, you know? Don't do that. Don't ever name your dog Fluffy, okay? Um, and don't give it treats as well. For all those Fluffy dogs out there, that was, I'm sorry. Anyways. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make him sit. Then you're going to put him on a 50-foot rope. And you're going to give the command to here. And what you're going to do is you're going to rip that dog towards you. So that dog knows that when, he, when it hears its name, it has no other choice but to come to the person that called it. Okay, and you're gonna need to do this over and over again. And then you know what you're gonna need to do, even when it after it's been perfected, you're gonna need to do it again because the dog's gonna start to say, "Yeah, I don't need to listen to that guy," you know. And then you're gonna take get your 50 foot rope out, and you're gonna rip your dog, and it's gonna go, "Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, I do need to come to him." Okay, and that's how it happens. Okay, so I'll see if. Trip's going to be good enough to let me do this, eh, bud? What do you think? Trip? Ah, oh, he's a good boy. Heel. Come here. Now you sit. You sit. Sit. Can't do it fast enough. He knows what he's doing. So I mean, hit, hit, hit. You get the point, okay? So you're gonna need to keep doing that. Now your dog, if it's just starting out, it's gonna be tugging and carrying on, and it's not gonna like it. You know, Trip's just done this so many times. He was knew exactly what was gonna happen. Um. So a another neat little trick that doesn't require this is is you can watch um, watch the dog's reaction when I do this. Water in a bit. Sit. What you can do is when you call a dog like this, it will come. So you watch what happens when you go down to its level. Okay? Get down on your knee and you'll see. Trip here. Trip here. Trip here. Nah, he didn't change his feet. But you get a dog that's young, 
you'll see it will kind of be trotting along and as soon as you get down it's it just gets excited it wants to come to you i'm gonna go in the water okay so that that's how you teach a dog to come okay that's how you teach a dog to come okay that is a, a very very important one okay don't don't slack on that one. That well, don't slack on any of them. But that's the one that you know when you're when for the guys that are got a they just bought a new pup and you're falling in love with that little pup, you know, and you're gonna teach it and you're gonna ask it to go out into places just like this, you know, full of sludge and and sticks and and what what else, and you're gonna you're gonna ask that dog to to go out and, and bring your bring your birds back, okay? Well, if that dog gets in trouble, it needs to be able to come back. It, it needs to understand that, okay, I know I'm supposed to get a bird, but he wants me back, and that's more important. Always important for a dog to come when it's called. Okay? We're going to leave that at that. Uh, that's the second installment. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go through the whole thing. We're going to do whistle commands and, and, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay? So uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Uh, as you can see, these videos start to filter through. And, um, yeah. It's going to be great. Thank you.